Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Edge Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Um, I want to talk to you guys about our new Crystal Edge Technology lineup. Now you know we don't sell paint anymore, but we have ventured on there's something a lot more advanced. Uh, the technology we're using now is, is a lot more advanced than the screen paint that we were, act we were actually man we used to manufacture. Now this right here is a, uh, we have these screens called the Platinum 4K Cinema and then we had the Silver Ultimate 4K Cinema. This is what you're seeing is Silver, we could just call this Ultimate Silver 4K for short. Anyway, so um, it co these screens come in a form of blackout cloth. They also too come in a fixed frame. Now if you decide you don't want to build the frame, you're not really savvy with tools and all that other stuff that you have to work with, it comes to frame snap it together put it take the um well snap the frame together very easy to build and just take the um material stretch on the back it has a suspense system that allows the screen to lay nice and flat now the beautiful thing about this is there's no painting involved now even though at one point we supported painting you have to change because technology changes you know what i mean you have to make it easier more convenient for people you have to do that you know what i mean people love that so now there's no more painting involved there's no more odors there's no more uh drop cloths and worrying about getting paint here and there getting all over your hands and all that nonsense no you can basically be dressed in your regular day clothes and just put this together and hang it on your wall it does come with the mounting brackets uh with the kit and it does come with the free uh neon lights also too here's the blackout cloth now the blackout cloth is even more even more advanced than the blackout cloth we were selling before. This is our new technology. This blackout cloth has a, a resistance to creases and a re resistance to wrinkles. Now it can be, um, the way you can actually attach the screen, you can actually uh, staple it, you can velcro it, and yes, I said velcro this. You can velcro this to a surface and it, would, it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't take much pulling to remove any of the lines you're seeing here. Now the screen wouldn't have that many lines if I had rolled it up, which I did, I just folded it over and over and over again because the screen is has that uh, um, um, crease uh, resistant uh, technology. All the screens are shipped on this roll right here. Also, too, they are 3D and 4K ready from the door. You can use this with low entry level projectors, as you saw in the demonstration, and they take on a ton of ambient light. I post that at the bottom of the comment section. You got to see that video. All right, so. The screen comes in two different styles. It comes in a borderless. We have it in a borderless kind of style, and we have it with a border. All right, there's two different styles it comes with. That's free. It comes with two free color options. You can have this in platinum, or you can have this in silver. All right, and the sizes are 100 inch, 169 to 120 inch. I'm sorry, the 150s are gone. They sold out quick. Same thing with the fixed frames. They're gone. All right, so. I want to take my foot. I don't want you to see my socks. They're a little jacked up because I walk around in my basement all the time with my socks on. I don't know how many pairs of socks I go through, but quite a lot. I'm going to take my foot. I'm going to put it on the screen. It's not going to damage the screen anyway. Whew. Did you just see my socks? I hope you didn't, man. If you if, if you get sick or you go, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. All right, I'm going to put the camera back a little far. I don't want you to see that. So that's it. This is a wrinkle and crease free. All I would have to do is just pull on that just a little bit and it's gone. That's it. I'm hoping you didn't see my jacked up socks. Anyway, oh, we all have jacked up socks. So what do I care? But anyway, so let's move on from here. So yeah, doesn't take a lot of pull and a lot of stretching. That's it. You could tack this thing down and that's, you said just pull it on it just a little bit. That's it. All right. So we are going to do this demonstration on the fixed frame screen. We're going to be using 300 watts of light. Uh, cascading down on the screen as you can see the screen is very well lit and we're going to do this demonstration on my NEC VT595 projector at 2000 lumens 720p 600 by 800 res now mind you this is projector was probably made in 06 probably 06 07 somewhere around 06 07 somewhere around there maybe maybe 08 I'm not sure gotta do the research and look it up I did remember it but I don't remember it now but I'll look it up but anyway so this is the projector we got right here. Now, mind you, you don't have to spend, uh, some people think they got to spend $800 or $500. This projector right here, I paid around $60 at the time. No, $150 at the time. Now, they're like $50. You can get them for $35. I think one for $25 on eBay. And that's basically about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out, see if I can go on eBay and get myself a SVGA 
a really low entry level because this one has um i'm using a dbi the hmi i'm going to get one that's going to be svga i think i do have an svga projector around here somewhere okay so let's get this started guys because i know you guys are anxious to see this i'm going to remove this from the screen from the which one blocking the projector and we'll start the demonstration right now hope you guys enjoy this You can see there's light cascading on the screen because you see those bright areas here and here. That's the light hitting the screen. Oh, as you can see, I had the lights out. And the blackout cloth is freaking amazing. Now, mind the blackout cloth is going to be slightly a little cheaper than the screens because the screens, like I said, have a fixed frame to them. But the fixed frames that these screens come with the uh, LED lights. Um, we're considering no no you know what we can't do it we can't do it i wanted to add in lead lights to the uh to the blackout call i don't think about that you know what i'm gonna do it i'm gonna add in the lead lights to the blackout cloth you know what i mean why not why not i try to give the best to my customers you know what i mean the reason why we do these demonstrations with such so much ambient light is because um we want to show you that you can do this in a fully lit environment now mind you my projector and it's sitting back, I say somewhere around from the screen. Let me go back over here so you can see it from an angle. From the screen, it's probably sitting back somewhere around maybe about 12 or 13 feet. We'll measure that right there. I'm going to show you the angle gain on this with all this light hitting the screen. That is a lot of light hitting the screen. That's 300 watts of light. Now we all know that you're not going to have 300 watts of light hitting your screen. We know that. Screen's taking a lot of light. This is a lot of punishment for the screen to take in. It's taking in my overhead fluorescent lights and it's taking in the 300 watts of light that are hitting the screen. So like I said, we know you're not gonna be hitting the screen with that much light to begin with. But that's just to show you exactly how much punishment these screens can take in. Now these screens are using Smart Technology Game Times 2. Remember, the uh, Future Tech 4K is using Smart Technology Game Times 5. That's why those screens can be hit with that much light, 400 watts of light. Speaking of that, really quick, now I know that, okay, like I said, um, I try to explain to people, people say, well, how come you don't get like 500 and 300 hits like on your channel and all this stuff like that? Well, you know, like I said, people see our technology, you know what I mean? But the majority of most people that are staring at our technology are companies. And because of the Future Tech AG, that demonstration we did, I think it was, no, it was a Titanium 4K Gold. We did that demonstration with 400 watts of light hitting that screen. Um, we got, my, I woke up this morning to my email was flooded with a bunch of uh, interesting comments and offers from companies that are interested in that technology. Mind that screen can withstand 400 watts of light on a cheap entry level projector. And you know these big companies are going to be using like 4K and you know, 8,000, 10,000 lumen projectors. They're going to be using some very powerful projectors on that screen. And that screen is going to cakewalk it like nothing. So, you know, we're, here's the thing. We have a company already in mind. We already have an NDA attached with them. Um, we are already in the process of signing a, um, a, a license uh, agreement with them. Um, and we have no interest in anybody else and any other companies for the technology we just don't have that interest for it I'm, you know what i'm gonna cut it off from here because i still got a lot to do guys i'm gonna cut off from here so i can't show any more but um yeah so that's just you know people don't understand that 
Your videos, um, if you're doing this kind of business, your videos are being observed sometimes by companies. And a company is not going to come in and go and, and say their name. They're not going to even advertise who they are. They're not going to say anything at all. They're just going to watch you. Later on, they'll shoot you an email and they'll explain to you what they're interested in. Now, if there's five or six companies staring at your technology, um, they're not going to come in and let either one, either party know that they're actually there watching because they want to do this on a bit of a kind of a secret mission kind of thing. They want to contact you and see exactly, you know, they, they can take, uh, uh, give you an NDA so you guys can sign it. And then after that, they'll take your technology down and they'll take it to a facility and test it. This is why you have to make sure that your technology does work because they will test it under every condition, what you can possibly think of. So with us, we have done every demonstration you can think of. We do these berserk and crazy demonstrations, and that's why it strikes your curiosity to find out about what we're all about. But to the companies out there, just to let you know that the Future Tech has, um, has already, is in the process of an NDA. Very, 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 I mean, we wanted to basically bring the technology out. We did, we had ideas of bringing it out, but because of, like I said, certain offers um the technology is very very good it is very good and just to let you know that for the customers the technology we have with these platinum screens they're not going anywhere the fusions are not going anywhere you can see the technology in the platinum screens are are insane i mean come on the blackout cloth from the wrinkle a blackout cloth you can pretty much take you can take it out of the box it's already pre-cut there's no cutting there's no it's very little stretching you could velcro this thing to a wall and just take it down and it's portable these are perfect for church events or for a, or if you're doing it some kind of outdoor expos or whatever you're doing these screens are fantastic for that but yes uh, this technology we designed it strictly for the customers the future tech was going to be in the process of actually being launched um, but there is a lot of interesting things flying on about about this screen so that's all i can say all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video demonstration I'd like to thank you all for watching um, I'll do one more and after that I have to uh, finish going over a lot of paperwork um, today. Alright you guys all have a good